lot of you are waiting for an opportunity to get in the game, but I'm telling you, friends, you're in the game every day, no matter what it is. If you're in high school, uh, in, a, in a relationship, you're going to college, you got a real business, you're creating a business, you have an idea, doesn't matter. Every day you're in the game. So really, is how are you going to show up to play today? There's so many people that need you to rise to your fullest potential, pull your head out of your ass, and look at life from a different perspective. <laughs> Yo, what's going on YouTube? So, understand this. Every day, you have an opportunity to fail. Every day, you have opportunities to fail yourself. And for some of you, that might be disheartening. But for the rest of you, that's the best thing ever. Because there's a chance to fail, there's a chance to succeed. And throughout my entire young adult life, military career, and now as an entrepreneur, every day I have a chance to fail. Every day I have a chance to not show up for myself. Every day I have a chance to let myself down by not following through and doing the things that I say I'm going to do. Every day I have an opportunity to literally sit on my hands and refuse to do the work. And I know you know this. I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know you know what that 20% gang is like, right? You know the 20% gang? That's where you take pride in being part of this, this movement that gives like 20% of your full potential to your desired goal and end state. Man, I can't tell you how many times I've done that in my own life. Uh, I talk about this in my coaching group. The 20% gang, man, when you can create so much with only 20% effort, you get comfortable and complacent. Therefore, you decide to make 20% uh, your new capacity. Well, when you make a new capacity, it is the cap, right? Capacity, it's the cap. It's the highest peak, the highest amount that you can achieve for doing what you're doing or, or working towards what you're working towards. It doesn't matter what your goals are or your dreams. It's going to take more than 20% to go execute them. But here's the deal. You got to start. You got to start. But a lot of you are too scared to start because you're like, what if, what if I fail? But also, what if I succeed? Well, the good news for you is you can't fail if you don't start. You can't fail if you don't start. And unlike your days, every day you have a chance to fail. Well, that's easy because you're starting your day. If you're blessed to be alive today, you have a chance to to be functioning and to have opportunities. Say yes to the healthy food, no to the nasty crap. You have all these different modalities that you get to participate in every day. Well, when you're deciding to take your life and put it towards action, towards something, towards achieving something or uh, performing something, are you going to give it only 20% that comfortable limits that you place on yourself, that ability to know that I'm not really working as hard as I am, but I'm definitely pushing myself to be uncomfortable? You know, I want you to think about this. You went to the gym today and you lifted normally at 18%. 18% you lifted, you give it effort. And then today you decide to give two more percent. That would be noticeably different. That would be harder because you're adding more intensity. You're adding more pressure, okay? But 18% is still hard too. And if you stay at 18%, you'll never get to 20%. If you stay at 20%, you'll never get to 22%. Same thing goes to going after what you're trying to achieve. It takes more. But you have to be willing. You have to be willing to accept the uh, set the playing field that you're on. The, the playing field that you're on is that every day you wake up, you have a chance to fail. That should inspire you to go further. Because a lot of you are waiting for an opportunity to get in the game, but I'm telling you, friends, you're in the game every day. No matter what it is, if you're in high school, 
uh, in, a, in a relationship, you're going to college, you got a real business, you're creating a business, you have an idea. It doesn't matter. Every day you're in the game. So really, is how are you going to show up to play today? How are you going to show up to play today? Well, that's the best. That's the best opportunity, man. You get you get to choose how you show up. So, anyways, I figured I'd drop this quick little video and uh, kind of share some of these things that I personally have gone through in the twenty percent gang. Some of the things I've personally gone through in the realization world of man. I have an opportunity to fail every day because I'm in the game every day, whether I acknowledge it or not, whether I like to or not, I'm in the game every day. Every day that I'm alive, every day that I'm waking up, every day that I'm I'm functioning, right? Every day that I'm functioning, not always functioning optimally, but functioning, I'm, I'm alive and well, I'm playing this game. So how do I wanna show up? Do I wanna show up as, as this blind victim that doesn't even see the opportunities I have in front of me, therefore I'm setting myself up for failure? Or do I want to show up in the world, show up in my life with like, man, I have an opportunity to stick to things and do the things that I say I'm going to do. I have an opportunity to move the needle forward. I have an opportunity to get out of my comfort zone, to increase my friction, to increase the pressure, to go create something worth fighting for tell you this, if you don't have anything worth fighting for to include your life, your health, your wellness, your your prosperity, your, your abundance, the, the ability for you to, to give and to provide to, to yourself, to your loved ones, to others, it's going to be really hard for you to, uh, to see the game that you're playing. And I want to encourage you that if you are one of those people that you don't really see the value in really anything that you're currently doing right now, I want to encourage you to dig deep. You might have this phone or a computer you're watching this off right now. That's something to be proud of, man. That's that's a big step. It might not be big to you because you're ungrateful and you like gratitude. But to someone else, that'd be life-changing because someone else would be taking the same opportunities you're squandering right now and they'd be running with it. Don't believe me? Just look at all the immigrants, not all of them, but look at the majority of the immigrants that come into this country, being America. They crush because they have more freedoms and abilities to do things here than they do in their own country. What do our own country men and women do? We get fat, we get lazy, we get nasty, we get complacent. We blame the system, we blame politics, we blame the immigrants, but really it should be our work ethics that we're blaming. It should be ourselves that we're holding accountable, not the outside world. If your world sucks, it's because your opportunities that you're allowing yourself to see suck. Some of you are saying, Cody, but I'm stuck in this current situation. I can't I can't change my outcome. You're right. You can't always change your physical external outcome, but you can definitely control your thoughts and your actions, how you show up each and every day, how you show up for yourself, how you show up for your goals and your dreams, how you show up for the things that matter most. Because if you don't own that, you own nothing. If you don't even own your thoughts and your actions, you are a slave. It doesn't matter how much money you make, where you live, how, how little food you get to eat every day. If you do not control your thoughts and your actions, you are a slave and every day you wake up, you will only see the failures in your life. The richest person alive knows they control their thoughts and their actions. Because once you can control those, once you identify that you own those, those are yours, your thoughts and your actions, how you show up, how you choose to think and speak to yourself, you can go accomplish anything. You can go accomplish anything. So I hope this message finds you well. I hope it finds you hungry. I hope it finds you inspired to want to just push the needle forward one more, one more degree, one more percentage. Because if you can do that and you can compound that, you'll be unstoppable. As always, if you enjoy these videos, enjoy this type of contents, or you want to see a specific type of video, or you like a certain style that I do, uh, let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and I will catch y'all next time.